Hi, I'm Neil, and in this video, we will show you how to modify your reefer sump to fit your reef mat roller filter. We will do this by removing the filter sock section with the help of the Red Sea Sump Modification Kit. Before you install, first check the reef mat installation guide on our website showing which sump modification is required for each model, if any. If you are not into DIY, you may want to get someone to help you, but like most DIY jobs, they are much easier if you have the right tools and know how to use them. Removing the glass and plastic components from the sump requires cutting through a layer of silicon that is less than 0.2 millimeters or 0.008 of an inch thick. Regular utility knife blades are almost three times thicker than the silicon layer, which is why they are inappropriate for the job. The Red Sea Sump Modification Toolkit includes some specially manufactured blades that are extremely thin, however, they are extremely flexible, and therefore it requires learning the correct technique to work with them. Also, any heavy-duty blade handles that you may have will not be suitable for use with these thin blades as they will not support them properly and their bulkiness is a disadvantage. The modification process should take about 15 minutes and can be done without draining the sump or removing it from the cabinet. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will use a dry sump on a table so that you can see more clearly what needs to be done. Now let's have a quick look at what's in the kit. Firstly, we have the utility blade handle with a regular snap-off blade which is used to remove the silicon bead that is outside the join between the parts. We have 0.1 and 0.15 millimeter blades that are used for slicing through the silicon. These blades do not have sharpened edges but they should still be treated as if they do so be careful. And finally we have a small scraper which is sharp in order to remove any silicon that remains attached to the glass and make everything neat and tidy after we're done. Of course we've made sure that all of these parts are suitable for using inside salt water. All work tools can be dangerous so do not use these tools without suitable protective gloves to protect your hands and eye protectors if you do not wear glasses. Right, enough with the intro, now let's see how it's done. Let's start by removing this piece at the bottom. We're going to start with the regular blade and remove the excess silicon. One cut up one side. And then another cut the other side. And you can pull away that little bit of silicon. There's also the same on the other side of the glass the more you remove, the easier it is to remove the glass itself. Okay, so to work with the very thin blades is to always work with the minimum amount of blade extended at any one time and always make sure that you lock the blade in position so that it stays where you've put it. There are some parts where you can come in nicely from the top and there are others where you have to work your way in from the side. Where you work your way in from the side, just press in the small amount, release the lock on the handle, and extend the blade a little bit more, and then push in again until you penetrate the whole part like that. And now we can just easily slide up and down the joint. And you've cut the silicon when you're at the edge again make sure you don't cut into the join in the corner and we do exactly the same thing again when you're working on the bottom we just press in a little bit we release the blade a bit lock it we do a little bit and push through until we get through and now we just slide from one side to the other. Okay, sometimes it's easier halfway through to change side. So you just put the knife 
of the blade through and then just work it slowly until you get to the end just like that okay and now to complete this particular part we need to come on the third side where it's connected and that just that just slides down easily and that complete piece of glass can easily be removed from the sump. Okay, now that we've moved that part, we can just remove all of this and just slide down to get rid of the last bits of silicon. And there we have the first two parts removed. So this blade has got a little bit bent, so it'll be easier to work if I cut off that tip and give myself a new point. So now we're going to remove the black plastic parts from the top. Pay attention that you do not need to remove these thin pieces of glass, these thin glass strips. They can stay where they are. So again, we can come in from the top and from the over here, just slide across. We can push it through a bit more. Make sure it's done. Okay. Same thing on the other side. This one's a bit trickier because you've got the rail on the top. And as I showed before, you start with a small amount out. And then you can slide easily all the way from side to side. Coming from the front just to release the last little bit. The next one I'll try and come in from the front and the side and that. That went nice and easily the whole way along and now I should be able to just lift up this whole piece and there we go it all comes away nicely. Okay so we're now going to move remove the center piece here I've changed over to the slightly thicker blade so we can extend it a little bit more and it works just as well coming in from the top and now we can just slide all the way down to the bottom. That piece will now move from side to side and so we can just slide again and easily release this piece completely. Done. Now we're going to remove this piece. We'll go from top to bottom. On this side that just slides easily all the way down. Same thing on the other side, coming from the top. Careful at the bottom there, because that's a seal we don't want to damage. And now this can move. come in from the bottom Yeah. 
we've done it. The last part of the process is to take our little scraper and we can now nicely get rid of all of the excess silicone that we don't want to have left in the sump. So, as you can see, we have completed the modification and the sump is now reef mat ready. Notice we've left the front and back rails and some other little parts since they don't prevent you from installing the reef mat and allow you to keep using the reservoir if you wish to do so. Please note, this modification process does not void your system warranty. However, any damage incurred to the sump during the process is at your own responsibility. So work slowly and most importantly, be careful. Thanks for watching and happy reef keeping.